Welcome, everyone, to our program. It is my pleasure to introduce Doug Hoffman, the Executive Director of Normie, and Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, Senior Director at ISSA. We are three, let's call ourselves professionals, here to share some interesting news and opportunity for the industry today. Gavin, start us off. Why are we here? Here's a question for every member of ISSA, every membership sector of ISSA. What would you do if we said we were going to help you transform and elevate the cleaning, assessment, and remediation industries by linking you with people, university professors, medical doctors, physicians, subject matter experts, people that you haven't even met, but we've now developed a pathway, a platform to do this, and we're going to do it for free, and we're going to bring scientific cleaning for health evidence with medical rigor to show you how the environmental health impacts of what we do in our buildings, in the built environment, is linked with human health and clinical practice. And what we're going to do is, this is unbelievably exciting, Jeff, because I'm going to hand it over to, to Doug now, and he's going to tell us exactly what's available for all those ISSA members, and not just in a certain sector, but every sector, every membership category that we have. One of the great things that we've been able to do with our alliance with ISSA, Jeff, is to be able to connect the cleaning industry to the restoration industry. We know that those guys that are doing remediation and restoration, they need to know how to clean. And so what we want to do is we want to, as Dr. Gavin said, elevate that side of the industry because what we've done, and you've seen the, the press release, what we've done is we've now created a medical advisory board chaired by Dr. Andrew Heyman out of George Washington University. And we've connected the healthcare industry with the built environment. Can you believe it? Never been done before. We've been waiting to do this for a really, really long time. When we started Normie in 2004, I always talked about mold is a health issue. Mold is a health issue. We fix buildings, not people, but, and we don't try to pretend to be doctors. Well, guess what? We now have doctors on our side. And this coming Tuesday night, I'm so excited that we're gonna be able to begin sharing some of the science with folks who are, are now can connect someone's health with their environment. I, it's unbelievable. But this is science-based uh, research that's been done, and we're going to be able to participate in that process as we collect more data points and develop more information for these doctors. So this will transform and elevate the business that everyone does. We are recording this on Thursday, June 26. Doug mentioned the event on Tuesday, uh, July 1st. So that's one event. But we're talking about a series of events. So so keep watching this program right now because we're going to get into some of that. But what you both just shared sounds like a fairy tale. It's, it's, it's too good to be true. Um, rhetorical questions and all that. But what does this really mean? And what do people, why do people need to be at all these meetings to get the full impact of that? Uh, Doug, you want to well, talk about that? Yeah, I can tell you one of the really important things that we're doing transforming this restoration industry in a lot of ways is we, we obviously take our hats off to the uh, IICRC S520, which has been the standard of care. Traditionally, uh, we do traditional remediation. But what we've realized, Jeff, is that there's some segment of the population, and some say upwards to 30 percent, I think conservatively 20 percent of the population, because of a genetic predisposition to these contaminants are sensitized to the point that they can't handle a traditional remediation project. And so what we've done is we've gone to our medical advisory board and say, how can we, how can we improve what we do so that we can ensure that you're not putting your clients back into contaminated environments? And as I said, this has never been done before. I mean, there's been a lot of talk around it, but nobody has ever really begun to collect the scientific data that the medical industry needs to be able to do the research that they need to be able to do, to do the publishing that they need to be able to do. And one of the exciting things that's happening as well is Dr. Heyman has now got a course approved through George Washington University, where we're going to be teaching doctors about what we do. And then he's also going to be teaching our remediators exactly what they need to be thinking about. They're not going to try to make them doctors, but make them realize this connection, which is so important. It's just gigantic news.
So I want to ask this devil's advocate question. Some might say, you know, we've talked about this before, like the cleaning for health, and some say we're not getting anywhere with that. We talk about it. We all believe it as an industry, but the world doesn't embrace it. Gavin, talk about that. What? Why is this so different? And, and if someone were to say, you know, I've heard it before, what would you tell them? Our industry is responsible for protecting the built environment. And what Doug and I have learned through collaborating through the ISSA Normia Alliance is accessibility. People didn't have accessibility to the research studies, the scientific data, the university professors, the medical doctors like Dr. Heyman with all those years of experience. They just didn't know them or were able to sit and talk to them. We're going to create a forum now with Normie where you can actually sit face to face through the virtual environment in a meeting and ask real world questions of filling the gaps in your knowledge, your skills and your abilities, which again is going to help us become better managers of that built environment. And on the assessment remediation side of this, what we bring to the table is not just discussion. We've actually literally put together a level four protocol, a training program to train these guys on how they should be looking at the environment and how to improve the environment and a service provider network where they can be a part of a whole program to standardize these processes. It, it's just, uh, it really is in a lot of ways kind of what we hoped we could get to at some point, and now it's actually come quicker than we expected. Very excited about this. It's going to change the industry. It's going to help thousands and thousands, maybe millions of people live better, cleaner, safer, healthier lives. This is huge. Well, let, let's tell them, Doug, how to sign up and be part of this great community of practice. Before let's we do this. that, before we do that, I just want to say, for those that are still with us on this program, for them to get the full benefit... It's those Tuesday meetings, correct? Yes, that's you correct. you got to be there Tuesday. for that. And what do they Tuesday cost? Night. What do they cost? Yeah. Oh, well, guess what? They're free. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Talk about how to be there and be involved. Well, the reason we're doing it free, frankly, uh, Jeff and, and Dr. Gavin, is we need an army of people. I, it may surprise you, but in the last eight weeks, we've gotten over 120 leads of people who are looking for solutions to their environmental issues. We need an army to put together to get them in the, in the marketplace dealing with these clients. So it's every Tuesday night, starting next week, the first at eight o'clock Eastern time, seven o'clock central, five o'clock Pacific. So eight o'clock Eastern time at impact.normy.org, www.impact.normy.org. You need no password, you need no money, you need nothing except time. Come join us.